Oh, it's a sad, sad day when a show you guys once loved just reveal themselves, or at least the showrunners and thus the show, etc. The creators reveal themselves to have massive TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, obviously. So, look, the boys, the last series of the boys was really not that great, to be fair. I think they fell off the bandwagon a lot, and I think it is all down to the fact that they have TDS. They've just nuked themselves, and they're being torn apart for this. So, Vought International has their own Twitter account, obviously. Um, despite the fact that these people say that they hate everything to do with Trump, and obviously, by extension, probably Elon Musk, yet they're going to use their platform. These people are morons, hypocrites. And, you know, we all know, we've all seen Trump did the working in McDonald's for a day. You know, it, he, he, he didn't work there. He was there for 15 minutes or so, doing a small shift and giving out food. You know, no one thought he was actually working there properly. No one actually thought he was, you know, serving gen, you know, general customers. No one thought this. And if they did, then, look, okay, sure, fine. But then you have this tweet from Vought International. It says, Growing up, Homelander dreamed of working at his local Vaughterburger. Recently, his wish came true as Vought shut down a restaurant and staged pre-selected customers so Homelander could serve people food thanks homelander for showing everyone how you're a true man of the people uh i mean look so i i mean i replied to this obviously i was like look <laughs> now do Kamala and her many blunders oh wait yeah you won't because you have tds and they're just being ripped apart they do have trump derangement syndrome the creators of this show are so incredibly biased now it's outrageous but it's also really bad because all you're doing is distancing, you, you know, a large push portion of the audience. And so I think a lot of people will probably rejoice the fact that we are only getting one more season of this. I think it is confirmed it's only one more season. But you see the comments are just like, oh, yeah, well done. Uh -huh, yeah. But a few things to go over with the Trump working at McDonald's situation. You can dislike Trump all you like, right? You can dislike that all you like. But what that PR stunt, whatever you want to call it, what, whatever you want to call that situation, what that achieved was actually incredibly wholesome in terms of public perception because it showed that, you know, Donald Trump... McDonald's is America, and I know that'll offend a lot of people, but it really is, right? McDonald's is America. Worldwide, McDonald's is synonymous with America. And, you know, Mackie D's, I think that's a... That might, in fairness, be a more British way of doing it. But, um, you know, McDonald's is, is integral to American culture as much as tea is integral to British culture. And at the very least, Trump, you know, wasn't doing something which he never liked, right? Like, it, it, it's, it's something which we know that he loves. You know, he does genuinely love McDonald's. So he's doing something which he enjoys. He's working with a company which is synonymous with America, it was quite wholesome in the regard that it, it it sort of boosted the morale of people that find America wholesome, right? And the sort of cultures that America has fostered and the cultures that are synonymous worldwide or the, the, the imagery that's synonymous with America worldwide. So whether you liked him or disliked him, there is definitely method behind the madness. And this is just pathetic. Because what these people, no, make no mistake, the creators of the boys, they hate America. They hate everything America stands for. Genuinely, they do. They would, they, they would see your country flooded with random foreigners in a second. They don't care. They don't care about the culture that America has fostered. They don't care what America stands for. They genuinely don't care. They have bizarre Trump derangement syndrome. It's very, very strange. And it's just biased and pathetic and sad. You know, when you've got to do this for a bit of a PR stunt, I mean, it just comes across try-hard and pathetic. So I thought we'd take a look at some of the replies, because they are just... Look, three million views, yeah, good on you. But you're being ripped apart. Like, absolutely ripped apart. Damn, trying a little too hard. Solid show until it was trying too hard on the politics. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wow, this is just like Trump. Ha, ha. Oh, the bad guys like Trump. Yeah, I get it. 
Like, come on. These people have been vilifying Trump for years now. So pathetic. Like, you instantly age a show when your villain is, is a current day political figure. Especially one which is, generally speaking, you know, only in, in office for a set amount of time and then they disappear. Right? It's not like Putin, for instance. If you were, if you were going to be smart about not aging your show, you'd do something on Putin. Why? Because the guy's a fascist dictator. Right? He's going he's gonna to be in charge for years. You're not going to age your show? Uh, oh, wow. This has so many layers of thought-provoking and subtle insight and subverted expectations. The average person might have to read it a few times to get it, and even then, most won't. The bad guy's Trump. Fucking hell, honestly. Whoa, no way. Is, is Homelander supposed to be Trump? God. What if we made a show where the good guys are bad guys? Your creativity overfloweth. Ah, uh, this is funny. I don't know. This kind of makes me like Trump more. <laughs> Look, what a great like this. This is it. I don't know. I I I quite liked the whole PR stunt that Trump did, uh, for the reasons which I listed. To be fair, your last season sucked. Stop watching after four episodes. The left can't meme still. Yeah, I mean they really can't. Uh, it took you until 8 o'clock tonight to get this out. Did you have meetings all day about it? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. I remember it took talent to write for Hollywood. Yeah, what, at one point it did. That's funny. At least the algorithm knows. That's funny. Uh, how'd you come up with this stuff? Truly breathtaking. The subtlety of a sledgehammer. It's just so sad. That's it, morons. Keep Trump's massive win in the news for even longer. Can't help yourselves, can you? That show's broken. That's how broken you are. Again, remember, ladies and gents, whether you like or dislike Trump, right? When a show brings, po you know, sort of political leanings too much into it and their, and their main villain is quite literally meant to be an avatar of a current day political figure, it's really, really bad. It's really bad. You know, again, just, just I should have said this from the start, to be fair. I'd sooner see someone younger, right? I, I think Trump, you know, again, like him or dislike him, I think he's too old. I think we need po political leaders that are younger, but we, we don't have them for some bizarre reason. I just don't get it. Oh, so anyway, look, I think this is just sad and pathetic and they've just been ripped apart and it's just sad. And they've got massive TDS, so enjoy it, I guess. I thought you'd enjoy this uh, commentary on this video, but let me know what you think down below. This isn't me endorsing Trump. This isn't me saying anything along those lines. This is just an, an analysis of it all. You know, there are plenty of things that Kamala has done, which is just equally as pathetic and sad and can be ripped apart, uh, as I'm sure anyone who hates Trump you know, would say that Trump has done. There's equal things on both sides, I'm sure. Uh, Trying not to sort of, you know, take too many sides here. But it's just sad, like, you're aging your show, you're making your show irrelevant. And remember, ladies and gents, Hollywood's not left, not, not left wing. Oh, God, yeah, okay then. And anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Hit subscribe if you're new here. This will probably get buried by the algorithm. So please do share it out. Cheers. Bye now.